Hi guys, how's it going? In this video we'll talk about creating an entry point for application. The entry point of our application is going to be a home page there where a user, a new user can register or an existing user can log in to access his account. And based upon all the assets I provided you, it's all been mocked up and, and styled and it's all set, it's all good to go. Now there's one thing I forgot to mention in the last video is I talked about the features now we are going to accomplish this version 1 and all these tasks how we are going to accomplish I, I mentioned in this steps.txt which I forgot to talk about now the first step is to create the mockup of the site which is already been done for us the second step is to understand what sort of pages our site needs it's gonna need a home page need a login and register page before we can actually go to uh, go ahead to create these pages. We're gonna need these pages because we can't access the these pages otherwise. We can't log in, and also we need to um, think ahead. What kind of user, what kind of schema design we're looking at? We need a user table to register a user. So after a user is registered, authenticated, only then he can cr uh, access the projects table, and likewise task and subtask. And then we're gonna need a database seeding class to test all these uh, databases. And our views will be mainly made up of Bootstrap framework, the most popular framework from um, the guys at Twitter, thanks to them. And as we move along, the new tasks will keep adding. I think they are in the correct order. So let's uh, let's move along. After co after copying and pasting the assets I provided you on GitHub, you'll delete the views the views that were uh, provided to us by default so if you try to refresh the application the welcome screen is gone there's no more welcome screen because we don't have a view for that and if you go to routes the welcome controller is listening to this um, uh, this route at home so we're gonna have to fix this okay let's get rid of this we won't be needing this controller and also likewise you you can go ahead and delete this controller that's okay it's fine to do so and then click change this to home home controller and then you open the home controller the home controller talks about it's a protected controller we don't we don't want it to be protected because all we want to do is display the home page so that's okay get rid of this uh, authentication middleware now for those of for those who don't know this is the the middleware that is that comes in this middleware folder provided by Laravel. So basically this concept where you can create a class and a bunch of methods that actually you can apply to this certain in a way that that can apply to a group of routes or a group of pages or some functionality that you can build around your application that 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 can imagine like the layers of the onion as uh, Jeffrey Way says you know. So the middleware is like layers of the onion so if the top layer is is protecting the bottom layer or the core of the, the the onion so if you remove the top layer only then you can go ahead and get inside the to the next layer so middleware is something like that so we have authenticate middleware that we were using in the home controller we don't want to use that because we want to present the home page to everyone everyone and we will be presenting pages dot home dot home now if you take a look at the resources views pages home and there is a view home dot plate and it's already been set now if you go back to the the browser and hit refresh what okay good shot so we are presented with this screen which is basically telling us um, you can log in or you can register if you want to go ahead or you can just view this this is what that is available to a guest and because um, um, yeah that's it okay now the next thing for us is to um, let's see let's see if the if the um, login and register rounds are working they are working what about the register and it's working so we have an entry point for application where the user can come and login or register and 
but where is the user going after this so we're going to the login page and it'll log in the user and bring back to the home now we, we are not giving any data to the home because if you try to look in the authenticating um, is class here auth controller what if you open this class what it does is um, if you open this class it you it pulls in a trait in this trait it it, sh uh, it shows us post login so after the user logs in we will check we will attempt against the credentials and if the credentials are okay then we are re redirecting to the intended path and if what is the redirect path you can click this it will take you down but if the redirect path is not there we are taking them back to home and the home page is just welcome screen so we don't want to do that to fix that we will create routes now we're going to need routes based upon our requirements the very first route we need is where do we want our user to go after it's authenticated we want to present the user all the projects the top level task in our application is the projects user comes to our application because he wants to create some projects so we want to present all the list of projects that belong to that user now because it belongs to a user it's protected it's the middleware protects it only if the middle layer the middleware the layer is uh, authenticated the user can access those projects but we need the route so route now laravel has built-in controllers controller uh, built-in um, functionality for us for the different our controllers for example there is the you can define each of the controller methods uh, explicitly for example route get for get request post for a post request um, route get for get request post for a post request um, route put you know for a patch request or put request or patch um, or what what we can use here is the resourceful routes that have predefined um, CRUD based uh, methods for example create read update and delete and in every application whenever there's a resource there's a resource involved you want to add a resource you want to access a resource you want to delete update do something with the resource so um, there is constant read and write to the um, database that's why they call it resourceful routes so we're going to create a route resource and we will pass in we will call it projects when a user goes to our app which is the uh, the host slash the path name is projects and then we have a controller called project controller that serves the assets at this route and we're going to copy and create similar for our task and similar we're going to do for our subtask now the only difference is they're going to be listening to subtasks and task now there's another there's a problem here as we noticed in our home controller you can go ahead and just open there is a middleware protection in the constructor so every time this class is called the constructor fi constructor fires up and if it's uh, if there is a middleware authenticated middleware or anything else in this constructor it must fulfill that criteria before it goes ahead and we may have here like 15 routes and then we're gonna have to do the same thing in every single route now the first concept of uh, objective oriented programming is don't repeat yourself so we have a we have something a route group we can group all the routes together and provide a single uh, middleware uh, layer that protects them and because our application on the home page is and the login and the register page is outside the fence rest everything is inside the fence so it makes a it's a good idea to combine them using group route group and then we uh, pass in an array which takes the first key middleware which middleware we are talking about authentication middleware and then is a closure this closure basically takes no arguments oops I think I made a mistake the array 
I forgot to end the array okay function and inside here we're going to put all these routes and they will be protected by the middleware route so these routes cannot be accessed unless the authentication is successful now this is good good enough for now and we'll come back to this in a minute just let's go back to browser and try to see if it works if we try to go to projects it sends us the login screen because we are not logged in which means it works and also let's open up the terminal if we try to run php artisan and route list you'll see all the routes and it says these controllers don't exist of course we didn't create these controllers uh, let's go ahead and create these controllers really quickly so uh, php artisan make controller project controller and then we create task and then we create subtask and if I try to run the where is it now I should be presented with and it says no such file or directory now I have come come across this before uh, this error is very easy to fix I'll show you how to fix it so you go to environment open the environment and change this to 192.168.10.10 and you'll see it works now why it works I'm gonna show you uh, in a second but let me finish what I was talking about so all the routes we just created subtask create edit task create edit projects create edit all these methods get post put patch delete and these these are the name routes so resourceful routes automatically creates them and it knows you're gonna it's a resourceful route so you're gonna have to you're gonna need a method to create a um, a resource or store a resource or show or edit or update it creates for us you can still add more methods and you have to register them in the routes.php but these are the default that come straight out of the box and now all of these routes are protected as you can see the only guest routes are get register port register because we want to post registration and we're gonna we want to give the user a chance to register same with the login and if someone wants to reset their passwords they can do so and stuff like that so but rest of everything is protected so coming back to that uh, the error why we need to change this to 192.168.10.10 and not localhost or okay this is this happens only in the homestead so you go to homestead homestead cd into your homestead folder and then nano um, homestead dot yaml and if you open it the very first line says ip 192.168.10.10 now unfortunately this ip is not uh, 127.0.0.1 which is what the local host is so um, that's why oh soups no I'm just gonna go ahead and say everything is okay good so when you try to say localhost here the uh, application doesn't understand you're talking to me to look for 127.0.0.1 there's no such file or directory so yeah I don't know I don't know why they did that but uh, that solves our problem so now in this app in this uh, video we have an entry point for application in the next video we'll be creating our database tables and we will um, try to work on how our application is going to look like so how our application basically what tables we need what table columns we need and what information in what uh, sort of values we're going to store the information um, and also we're going to talk about a little bit about the relationships in the models we're going to create the models and relationship that will help us design so database tables and the models they go hand in hand because how Laravel works is all the table columns have been represented as the objects to us so they, they are just like objects every column so that's how that's the core concept of Laravel so for now that's enough for now so make sure to comment subscribe and like and if you run into any issues just uh, drop a comment or send me an email and I'll see you in the next video thank you very much